what's happening everyone welcome back to the channel today we are on my way to me mates ah! today we are on our way to no fuck's sake today we are on the way to my mate's house to fit some coilovers to his mini clubman so yeah if you want to see it happen stay tuned and it will come <laughs> Come on, Jamie, introduce yourself, mate. Unfortunately, I'm crazy, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Who have we got down here then today? The worker. <laughs> hey? Come on, Jiglet. Speak up, look I'm sharp. Not, not speak English. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone want a coffee or anything? I literally turn up, and now I've been sent to go and get some torch, torch sets. Look at this weather, it is absolute joke. Really working in the grass verge now. Look at this. It is awful. Look at that. What are we saying, Cook? Not really good weather, is it? It's not really good weather, is it? Yeah, it ain't. You got down there, Jibbit? Oh, that's lovely. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's lovely Very nice. Looks well, doesn't it? Right, to start with, then, guys, we need to take this wheel off. Come on, Shoe. Show us what you got. <laughs> so, so, to start with, you've got to take the scuttle off, which is this bit here, which just unclips, I believe, along this bit here, and then take the wheel off 17 mil spanner 17 mil spanner <laughs> I'm not I'm not going to let the video roll just because it's going to be well long but we have to take one of the strut braces off one take of one of the strut braces off we are not professionals we are amateurs that's what I say last time Stu done a job for a cookie he nearly lost the wheel he was nearly though nearly he was still on <laughs> he was on he by a he was on by a thread I've had extra long movement that's sticking up the brake <laughs> <laughs> also, try and crack the nuts before you uh, lift the wood up, that's a good tip. So, next stage is... You Removing have, the drop link bolt. Remove the drop link bolt. What, what, um, what size is that? This is a 16mm. 16mm. Looks well. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's just raving about that. Oh no, yeah. <laughs> Battery lasts forever. <laughs> so yeah, remove the drop link bar and then just prise it out. Only obviously remove the top end of it. Sometimes they can be a bit, a bit of a pain to... Uh, Prize out. Yeah, we'll get that in a minute. <laughs> now we're going to release the bottom of the shock. That same 16mm. 16 16mm 16 on the bottom of the shock. Um, so, yeah, once you take the bolt out of that, just unhook the uh, brake line and that. Then that should just. Pop down. Shock. I'll do the top right. Yeah. Yeah. Go up to here. I wonder why that's because the other wheel stuff the ground, isn't it? Yeah. We had this wheel off the ground, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. 
so it could be all right. Yeah, that's what I mean, yeah. But the drop links. What size uh, socket is that? Like a 13. So you've got a 13 on these, and, and then a there's 16. a 16, which is on the strut brace. She was just... Uh, just release the drop link. Trying to release that. Drop link, alright. Cookie. You're done doing these? Got to do that. Should we do something? I'm literally doing not a lot. I'm just watching today, so yeah, keeping keeping clean. Well, your dad works in your car normally, Yeah, my dad normally works in my car, so I'm quite lucky. When, yeah. he's not sick. when he's not feeling too sick, bless him. Who wants to see him go around a track in the Evo, that would be uh, one to watch. If you uh, would like to see that, like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you're saying. Yeah. So once you release the top mount, yeah. Everything else yep. becomes we loose. Got, so all we've got to do is be careful. We do not knock the phalange valve. You're taking the piss now, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how well you guys can see, but there we go. Look at that. Brand new, basically. Better put them on eBay, Cook. Well, I need them when I get the car back. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Quick we are now off. So that's the first stage guys. Hope, I hope that come out alright. Don't know how well you can hear or see, but yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> so once we you now, uh, add now. that all off. Oh yeah, whose videos? Go on, this? oh go on, go on, Stu. You, you tell them. <laughs> you tell the world. What we need to do now is we need to reuse the top mounts for the coil overs. So we're gonna remove the top mounts. So we're just releasing the spring now. Obviously, just be careful because the spring could be under preload. Because this is a sports suspension anyway, the uh, springs are quite short, so they don't actually have too much preload on. So, just, uh, lowering, it down. lowering it right down to the bottom. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to sit, but. Literally don't. Was that um, out? Did we lower it right down to the bottom? Uh, I went up just so I could see one one thread, just so that it weren't completely on the bottom. So literally like that. Like that. Let's have a little look. There we go. Not as much as that, but literally like just one. One, one thread. thread. That's more like it. We've got these little grub screws there to tighten them up. Oh. You can see them there. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> 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 uh, it's a few, it's like your piles. Oh mate, maybe a bit worse than that. It's like the piles his dad had after he got out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> now you've got to reuse the boot, but only the top section. You've got to tie it. So it's got a locator for the spring. There we go, nice and not neat. There we go. So what are we using that for, Cook? For the top of the spring, it's got little locators there. there so go. then that'll fit. In like between that. there, like that. And that'll lock the seats in. Should stop any rattling. Yeah. Oh, you need to spin that. Oh, I don't know where I can get that. I'm going to give you that. Oh, yes. Yes. So yeah, once you put the uh, rubber bit on the top, just so obviously, right, make Not it. Not sponsored by KW. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so once you obviously put that rubber in there, that sort of stops any movement as such, not any uh, rattling. rattling. And then you obviously put the top mount back on top of the uh, KW new suspension, shock. new shock. And yeah. Hold it up. Hold it up. Nuts, please. Nuts. Got it. Nuts. No, the nylon one. Oh, there it is. So the top mount nut is a 19. You need to hold it with mole grips because you have to hold the shaft as well. Insert it through the socket. Insert it through the socket. So you can see. Shaft. Oh, really? 
So obviously once you've um, tightened up the top mound, you can literally slot that straight back in. Straight into it to stop. Until obviously it hits the stop. Some of them do have markers and some of them do actually have like a um yeah, like a little lip so it can't go any further on. So I don't know if these have the this KW... one's got a lip. Oh this one on does the, on the actual car. So the KWs do have a little lip on there, so that will tell you how far you can go. Obviously if you're above that, you need to go lower. And obviously just um, reattach the uh, brake lines onto the um, shock. The top. So now the um, doesn't fall off. So now the brake lines obviously all attached. We're, um, just tightening up the um, pinch bolt for the shock. Pinch bolt for the shock. I'm just going to cut to the next stage, guys. Right now, shock's all detached. Shock is now all attached, so but obviously still not on the top mount. So now I'm going to lift it up, top mount seat home, and then Jamie's going to put the bolts in. Yeah. Which holes are the there location? Okay, no, that's not. Yeah, well, that's one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, so obviously, it. when you're doing this, just make sure you locate the bolts into the um, yeah. correct holes, because the one that goes onto the strut is a bit longer. So just make sure you get the right ones. So now Stu can obviously relax because he's not taking he's not holding the pressure the nuts are. Cook's just gonna finish off doing them. I'm now reconnecting the drop link. Stu's reconnecting this drop link. With the drop link, you need both sides jacked up, and that takes the pressure off it. If you only have one side jacked up, you won't get it out. Okay, it's a good tip there for you guys. Yeah. So right, that's all tight it's, under there now. It's all tight. It's all tight. We <laughs> like it tight. So then that is literally the front's done. It's just a case of tightening up that bit. Putting back on the scuttle panel. See seeing where we are with it. I don't know how well you can hear, I know I keep saying it, but this wind, oh look, it's just lost a bit. Gazebo there. Oh my days. Lost the pin. So we've whipped the wheel off this side. Stu's just about E20. He's using an E20 socket. Just about to. I'm getting hugged by Cookie here. Oh yes. All staying warm, aren't we? Before social distancing was a thing. Before social distancing was a thing. <laughs> oh god. We're just undoing the uh, rear shock now. Oh, oh god, I'm getting fingered! <laughs> Hold on, Cook. Stick your foot on that, come on, Cook. Bit of pressure. Should be the right way this time. That's There's, it, yeah. go on, push down. I'm gonna cut out here because I'm just gonna get it done again. Right, <laughs> that against you? Loosen the bottom one off. Yep. So now we're gonna release the top and then, and then obviously then we'll undo that one completely once the shock's stopped. Top is a T a E12. There's three E12 bolts up the top. Three E12 bolts, yeah. and they are literally just tucked up underneath that bit of carpet. So you haven't got to go into the boot like some cars and adjust like release them there. It's all done under the wheel arch. So yeah. Oh, it just fell off because it's made for me. <laughs> <laughs> So now that is released guys, so it's now loose as you can see. Shoes loose. You got the other ratchet? You need the other ratchet, good boy. Uh, ditch you under the back of the car. Here. Let's kick it over a little bit. Yeah, I should have reached for that, shouldn't I? I was quite lazy. 
Sorry, mate. So now the top's um, released. We're now going to fully release the bottom. We're going to fully release the bottom. Release the bottom. Loosen down there. I'm just going to skip this bit because it's boring. So um, the shock's off, as you can see on the floor. Sorry, I didn't get that. I was too busy talking. <laughs> so what we do now, Stu? Yeah, we're going to remove the spring. We're going to need assistance. We need assistance. We need your foot on the uh, caliper. So the best way we found is put your foot on the caliper to prise it down, and then, as you can see, Stu's got the bar in there. Just going to try and lever it out. Obviously, just be a bit careful doing it like this because it's got pressure on that spring. But once it's out, here we go. A little bit more pressure, I think. And there we go. So there we have the old spring. Cook's just setting up sort of roughly what height he wants the rears to be on that one. So <coughs> That's a 16, a 16 mil and literally here just releasing the top mount from the shock again. So obviously you need that top mount to go on to the uh, new KW set. So you just obviously release that off. What size socket we got on that? 16 on this one. 16 mil on that one. I'm just gonna cut back to it, all right? So obviously when you're doing this, you need that torque set no, this is Allen key, this one. Oh, is it an Allen key? Allen key on the back, yeah. Allen key on, in the middle, like I say, mole grips around the side shot. to hold the shock. And then, um, yeah, it should release. Here it is, fresh out of the box. The brand new KW shock. Look at that. Get <laughs> Good hand movement there, boy. Yeah. So, we'll see. Top, go on. KW with the top mount now mounted on it. Now going to refit this with the three bolts that then bolt it up into the chassis. No, Behind the skirt. Just up there. Obviously, I'll cut straight back to that. Obviously, it's just a case of tightening up them three bolts there. Then, obviously, tightening it up down there. Yeah. Fitted at the top. So, the shock's now fitted at the top. And now then... I'm fitting the new rear springs, which reuse the rip the original bottom mount and replace the top mount. Let's remove the rubber mount and this replaces them. And that now sits in right, so. Just don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think you need to put too much pressure putting them back in because obviously the spring's going to be a bit smaller. Bit. Might just have to apply a little bit of pressure. But you get the gist. Obviously, when you put it in huh? and you line it up, just make sure it's sitting sitting right before you yeah, obviously start tightening the rest of the bolts back up. So now we're just putting the um, bottom shock bolt in. We found it easier if you get the jack and just jack up underneath the, the hub sort of thing. Line it up. Perfect. Screw it in. Nice, easy job done. See the shocks been tightened up at the bottom, everything else is on, and there we go, it's all fitted. So it's just a case of putting the wheel on now. Stopping for a bit of birthday cake, aren't we? Yep. Come on, Chanel. Living the dream. We've been doing this so long that it's not perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the wheel's on. Just going to drive out and see what, see what the height's saying. So that's pretty much it really. Cook's just literally tightening up the uh, wheel nuts, making sure it's all all right. Stu's just down there tidying up. I'm just floating about, living the dream, you know. If you um, like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, 
leave us a comment down below. If you um, check in the description, I'll leave a um, sort of list of what tools were needed to do this. And um, yeah, I think we're gonna go down the road, do some cinematic shots, and end the video there. Cheers for tuning in, take care.